Alright guys, Warner Weasel back here today at Pigeon Forge, Tennessee at the Old Mill District and we are outside of the Old Mill General Store. I just wanted to take you over here to the General Store and run you through. Guys, and I will show you here is where it all starts to make their meal. This is where the meal works and they make all that thing, that stuff. So guys, come along with us. That's where you get your corn meals and all that. That's made right here off the river. The Old Mill General Store. Uh, the main, we'll run over here and go in. Guys, you got some of the old millstones outside here of the general store. I just want to show you that. I do want to show you one thing. I will show you the actual mill itself before we go inside. Guys, right here under the general store at the old mill, you can access down to the river. And we're actually going to go down there today. Uh, a lot of times you can't get down here. I apologize for the bouncing because I am coming down a lot of steps. But I want to show you something very interesting here oh. as you can see the water coming down and the water mill guys this is where the water will turn that water mill and they make the all the corn mill and such here guys it's all done right here As you can see all of where it turned and such in there to make it, uh, it's pretty awesome looking guys. I just wanted to bring you down here and show you all this. Really, really cool guys. You can hear the water coming down right there. Uh, all this was flooded a few days ago from all the rain that they had down here. See all the mechanisms and such from the wheel when it turns and turns the millstones and all those things. It is pretty cool. Looks to me like they've got a little bit of a leak of the water coming out of the river coming back over here, making its own little creek stream. Really cool, guys. So guys, let's go in to the old mill store, the general store, and we'll show you everything in there. All right, guys, let's go into the general store here at the old mill. We'll cruise you through and show you what they have and such. They have uh, a lot of shirts and souvenirs and such here in the general store coffee cups and things <coughs> some more shirts and things they have hat and t-shirt combos bracelets uh, looks like books and such so is, is signs uh, some more cups some souvenir stickers of different varieties a uh, little picture frames and such that are personalized keychains Necklaces, earrings. More lotions and soaps. And such. Toys for the kids. Dog stuff. They have all the goat soaps and such goat milk soaps and lotions and they have a lot, a lot of kitchen decor we will take you up to here and show you that and you can see from the general store the water coming off the dam what? 
glosses. They were like really popular in the late eighties, early nineties. Oh, okay. So open them, you slide that, and you put glosses inside that. Oh. Yeah. Guys, it's something I've never seen before. I don't know they if any of y'all. Popular when I was a little girl. If any of y'all know about it, you can comment in the comment section below in the video. I haven't saw these in years. Hmm. They have some candles as well, the old milk candles, hand poured candles. And kitchen decor stuff, kitchen utensils and things and hand towels and such. And you also have your uh, self-rising cornmeals, uh, it's jalapeno, it's all made here guys. Um, you have country style golden corn flour, uh, you have your stone grits, stone ground white grits, uh, yellow grits as well, self-rising yellow cornmeal. The original whole wheat flour, uh, self rising flowers, unbleached flowers, um, cracked wheat flour. Never heard of that one. Um, unbolted yellow cornmeal. Never heard of that either. So guys, all that is made here on site. I will kind of give you just a little shot back toward where they do all that. As I said, they do make all their stuff. And you can tell back in there is where it's all done behind these doors. I'm not allowed back there, it's employees only, but I just kind of give you a little sneak peek of that back through there, through these doors. That's where it's all begins, guys. And the restaurants, anything that's got flour or cornmeal in it, it's made here. They have two restaurants, the Old Mill Restaurant and the Potter House Cafe. They have a lot of pickles and sauces, uh, seafood cocktail sauce, ketchups, uh, mustards, soup mixes and everything, honeys. Um, also jams and jellies as well here at the old mill general store so guys definitely come check them out uh, the old mill general store in the old mill district guys i hope you enjoyed the vlog of running through the little general store and showing you everything uh, definitely check them out while you're on the wait list for one of the restaurants gives you something to do uh maybe purchase you a few things oh uh, well Chocolate cherry, moonshine, mm -hmm. preserves. Oh, well, wow. I hadn't seen that, guys. So definitely come check them out. The Old Mill General Store. Guys, if you like the vlog, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so so far. Um, also, ring the notification bells to keep your notifications rolling. And if you're new here, we do upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. They go live. And also, guys, as I keep saying, we'll keep shooting. Y'all keep watching. And it's Wonder Weasel signing off from the Old Mill General Store, Old Mill District, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee.